Wait a minute. Why are these Chinese trying to cross this river without building a bridge? Or are they throwing trucks full of Fort Phil into what seems like a flowing river? But where are they doing this? Well, hold on. We'll cover this aspect later in this video, so make sure to watch till the end. Hello everyone, we are back with another autumn episode covering the latest story from China. It's about the latest dam breach at the Lake Daunting. It was on 05 July 2024, around 4 p.m., when the local authorities of Dongting Lake, northeastern Hunan Province, China, found a serious piping and erosion-related incident occurring at the dike. Well, for your information, this lake is the second largest freshwater lake in China, having a depth at the middle of around 100 feet. So it's a massive lake, although it's regulated with a dam across the Taiping Stream entrance to the lake. But in floods, the things can get out of control. That's what happened on the sad day. The authorities immediately commenced their rescue efforts to seal the leak. However, this leak escalated into a breach, significantly tearing the structure. Recognizing the imminent danger, officials immediately commenced a large-scale response. Meanwhile, reinforcement efforts began on an embankment located approximately 2 kilometers behind the breach dike, serving as the second line of defense. As of 2 p.m. Sunday, a total of 4,739 professional rescue personnel, 469 vehicles, 318 pieces of equipment, 144 large equipment sets, and 170 boats have been deployed to the breach site. The priority became safeguarding lives. Nearly 7,000 residents living near the breach were evacuated to ensure their safety. Time was of the essence, as the surging water threatened to inundate entire neighborhoods. Well, prior to the breach, Henan province experienced 17 consecutive days of heavy rainfall, the longest period of regional heavy rain since 1961. The intense rainfall led to high water levels in Dongting Lake, the highest in the past four years. The next crucial step involved sealing the breach. However, the challenge was immense. Here's where the footage of trucks you mentioned comes in. Emergency crews utilized a rapid response strategy, 